day number five of six. Tomorrow is our last day on the trail. We leave Saturday morning to go home. We are headed down to do the boxcar kamikaze loop. A little bit south of town. Just like the whole rest of this week, we're pretty much not expecting to see anybody. We have had everything to ourselves. It's been super weird, but it's also been super fun. So, none of us have ever been this far south. Um, so, we have no idea what to expect, just based on other YouTube videos. It looks like it's going to be another fun day here regardless. So, when we get down there, we'll start recording. Well, we're zipping along a BLM road on the way to Boxcar Ridge Trail. You can tell there's not much traffic out here. It's a pretty cool little area. It probably doesn't look like it. This is the kind of thing that if I was in my Focus, I still would have driven down it. Hey, where did this go? <laughs> it doesn't look like it from the last uh, scene, but we are actually on the official Boxcar Ridge Trail, zipping along the straightaway at about 30 mile an hour. And uh, I think once we get up to the edge that you can kind of see there in front of the LaSalle's, uh, that's more than likely where it actually becomes like the trail. So we're going to find out. It's a big exploration day. Should be fun. Ah, uh, you can tell we're getting closer. It turned into a two-track. We passed a sign that said, more difficult. It went from green to blue. <laughs> we're getting close to where it stops being a straightaway and uh, starts getting curvy on the map. <laughs> Dang! That's a good question. Why is it here? This is where you dump the body. <laughs> yeah, this is where you dump the body. Yeah. The coyotes will have it ate by by dinner time. <laughs> Painted route is to our left here. That's very interesting. You see that on the rocks?
traveled. This is quite a long spur, but it goes to an overlook that should be amazing. This has not seen vehicle traffic in a while. <laughs> close to the cliff edge. We might have to get the drone out.
cruising around in the uh, BLM area, we took that spur and lopped off the whole rest of that trail. The sign said more difficult and it really wasn't that difficult at all. But just cruising around in the sagebrush. Do some exploring and see where all these random network of roads are, where they all go that aren't on this map anywhere because we're just driving in no man's land right there. Those would be Utah speed goats. They look very fast. Oh, hold on, there they go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those are antelope. what the heck we're doing out here <laughs> there is just so many weird roads that just go everywhere out here it's pretty cool track that we just turned around <laughs> this might be the other end of that road we were on well that's how we found the pango though we uh, walked it from kind of both ends indeed I did Jen kind of stayed there for a little bit so much dust <laughs> really bad for allergy people like me. Alright, we finally got off the uh, random two track. The road we were on uh, keeps going on the map, but then it just stops. And it doesn't look like it's been driven in forever and ever and ever and ever. So, we got back on the main road, and now we're headed up to Kamikaze Hill. I guess it's just a steep hill climb. Check it out. Okay, that's cool. We made the turn on to Kamikaze. It just looks like this trail drops off the edge of the cliff here. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Really cool scenery though. Good Lord, it does just drop off.
steep hill, I get it. This is so cool. You're just driving on literally the rim edge of the canyon. <laughs> I mean, it's gotta be like five, 600 feet down to the right. degrees coming down but that was only for like one vehicle length so shouldn't be anything too crazy to drive back up but it's that plateau right in front of us we have to get basically back on top of a little bit to the left but that's it I had to get driving back along this cliff edge coming out because it's super cool <laughs> it just goes down.
final ascent up Kamikaze. What was the incline on that, Justin? I only saw 30 and it was right at that like three quarter point where your right tire dropped in a tiny little bit of a hole. That's what I thought. It didn't seem like that much of an angle. fix that that's really annoying but it's uh almost 3 30 we're uh basically on flat smooth road from here so we are going to uh run back into town it's probably an hour drive from where we're at at least and uh, go find a t-shirt shop because i need a shirt that says moab on it i do not have one Tomorrow is the last trail day here. So, trail to be determined. And we will see what it is when we pick it in the morning. Until, oh, look at that view. Until then, we will see you later. <laughs>